so hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is a continuation of the astrology 101 series and this is episode 7 as we're going into the sun in leo so so before we get into it remember to subscribe to the channel remember to like this video remember to share it to someone who's learning astrology or to share it on your page introduce someone into the topic of astrology so one of the thing about the sun in Leo is that this is a very, very favorable position for the sun because it's in its home sign. Leo is ruled by the sun. And so there's a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of intelligence that is created here. And this is essentially what the sun wants to be able to express. It wants to be able to inspire. It wants, pe it wants to be able to, again, make people feel good as uh, the Leo Sun energy it brings a lot of positivity it brings a lot of happiness it brings a lot of joy it brings a lot of um, fun a lot of creativity so with the Sun being in Leo this is the most favorable position for it to be able to express everything that it wants to be able to express there's no coincidence that you say the Sun as in the Sun in the sky the celestial body that's in the middle of the solar system and then the sun is in a boy child, your son, your child. Um, and a lot of these connections are connected to astrotheology, which is the connection, um, astrology within religion, and specifically the Bible. And this is where um, the, the word Helios Biblios come, came from, which is the sun book, which is essentially the book of the sun that's what the sun book means so we'll get into that a bit later but all of that is connected to leo energy so i thought i might as well put that in there so the sun is represented by the lion and this is what brings this whole energy with leo being the king of the jungle being the leader be bringing a lot of alpha qualities again this is very similar to aries as i mentioned the connection between aries and leo in the aries video there's a natural trine there so you guys have um, natural leadership qualities that are just naturally expressed through your expression so there's also a deep need to be able to express the qualities of your inner child this is where this whole fun comes from this whole you know having to party feeling like you want to party feeling like you know you just want to just have the best time of your life that's is that's all that child energy all of that inner child energy that is just naturally being expressed and a lot of the times this can also be expressed through your artistic quality so just like leo again you guys have, are able to naturally express yourself but again you guys need to learn to be able to dink, distinguish the difference between the mask that you present for yourself or the mask that you create for your identity um, and your true self because you guys have this beautiful flair about you. You have this natural kind of dramatic nature about you. Again, it's fire, it's very inspirational, but sometimes you need to question, is that you? And your moon sign will be able to determine if that is actually you or not. Um, or if you're a rising sign, this may be how people identify you. So people might just see you being extra dramatic um, and that might not actually be you, but that just may be how your energy presents itself. So your sun sign is always qualities that you're learning how to embody. You're not exactly the fullness of this character yet. You're learning how to embody these characteristics. So also with Leo, you, you guys are performers. You guys are brilliant within the arts, brilliant within um, anything artistic, anything to do with children. You guys are awesome, again, because it's, an, it's another opportunity for you to be able to express your inner child, your inner childish qualities. But also with you being um, a performer, you can almost create a character or a, a, a false ego of yourself. Um, and play out this character without actually realizing that there's actually a, a separation between these two people. And if you have Sun in Leo in a temp house, this can play out um, a lot. <laughs> you almost get trapped in this trap and you have to keep reminding yourself, actually, this is the, the character that I play and this is me. So this could probably play out um, not only on the temp house, but also 
on the first house but especially in the fifth house as well like <laughs> fifth house is the home house for leo so you'd be able to express this extremely well so another one of your dark sides is that again because there's this regal type energy there's this very royal type energy um that you're you're coming into it's almost like sometimes there can be an expectation that the red carpet is just put out before you like here i am i'm here like very diva-ish type energy and you need to make sure that you are not allowing yourself to become so self-absorbed within yourself like the world does not evolve around you you are still existing in a universe that involves other people so you know it's not for you to be at the top or be the only one or be the center or be all of that type of stuff it's learning to be able to incorporate other people at the same time but leo is very supportive like Sometimes it can it can be very salty in its support, but essentially, like all together, it's very supportive. It's very loyal. And Leo's gonna be the one that's gonna be cheering on its friend. Come on, let's go, let's go! Like it's very very supportive. So it can be um, very good for a life coach as well, like life coaches, because um, it's very inspirational. You're almost helping. It's it's helping people. It's inspiring people how to live better lives and live happier lives and you know achieve what they want to be able to achieve but if they're in a relationship they're going to be extremely extremely loving um like romantic type energy very romantic especially venus and leo if you've got that there as well um but also um can almost create this ideal of like a power couple type thing almost like beyonce and jay-z um, if you have good synastry aspects, then this could probably um, signify that you do have that type of connection. But there can almost be like a pressure in terms of, you know, like almost like um, this is royalty and you have to maintain this royal image, um, this royal image of perfection. Again, because Leo's sex style to Virgo, so there's going to be this, this element of perfection that it feels like it has to be able to it attain or maintain um, and this is why it always looks good it's never gonna you're never gonna find a leo step out and be like i'm i don't i'm i'm not looking good you know it is very um very mindful of its aesthetics and again this plays down to your placement because it doesn't mean to say that every leo is going to be as focused on that i mean if you have any repressed um aspects to your son um say any again in the 12th house or having any aspects of saturn or anything like that it's good you're going to feel some kind of restrictions to your personality but it doesn't take away the fact that those needs and desires are not going to be there you're going to probably feel like okay i'm hidden but i do i do feel like i want to be seen a little bit you'll always notice as a leo child that they've always been like a natural performer in something and then they may grow up to have a regular job but then it's still like remembering those moments when they wanted to be able to put on a show and that's something that's always going to be connected to that leo and this is something that they're always going to feel the need to um want to be able to express now with leo squaring taurus and opposing aquarius there can be a lot of heart again represented by leo leo represents the heart um and the soul um this is an another qu um, connection with the soul and the sun i'll go into that in a in a later date um so you can have this heart this um almost like this passion that drives you and you're going to allow that passion to guide your life but at the same time you need to be able to um, bring in your Taurian qualities to be able to create structure and practicality and a, and a strategy of how to be able to get to where you want to get to um, but also um, using your Aquarian qualities of being able to kind of think a bit and be a bit logical in some of your decisions because sometimes you don't really <laughs> you don't really think too much you kind of just go off the heart and go off the whim Leo is a very risk-taking energy so it's very quick to take risk and leave everything to luck <laughs> sometimes I can operate like that with myself noting Leo and with my Leo being in the 10th house I need to learn how to cut that out like it's not about just 
um, having a workshop to do tomorrow and we're just going to whim it, do it on a whim and just allow it all to just come out because you know it's going to come out. You, you have the ability to do that, but you need to be able to create structure and, you know, not always leave everything up to luck. But if you have a trine, a sextile or a conjunction to your Leo sun, then you're probably a very lucky person, you know, you're the type of person that gets away with a lot of shit. And it's like, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> so you probably make very good gamblers, um, always going to ca the, the casino and just always hitting that, just hitting it, like always hitting. Again, bringing back the whole thing of children and this fondness for playfulness and uh, this type of attitude to life. If you bring up Michael Jackson, um, he was motivated deeply by this need to experience life from a place of fun, a place of uh, creative expression. And it's really interesting to see that he had um, Uranus, Venus and Mercury all in his house of weakness, which is his sixth house. Um, and it was all square in his second house, um, which uh, his second house in Taurus, which is his house of values. So as a child, he had his childhood stolen from him and stripped from him. And then he spent his whole life trying to reclaim that part of himself because that's the part of himself that he most valued. That's the part of himself that most made sense. That's the part of him that really shaped the essence of his identity. Um, especially with Uranus being there as well. So I feel uh, it's very interesting to notice that and just to understand um, how that Leo childlike energy really plays out and the need to be able to express it in your life. And it plays out in multiple different ways. Again, he has a stelium in his house of Leo, so it's going to show up much more. But there's always going to be elements of this that you'd love to be able to integrate within your life. So with a Leo sun, there can almost be this feeling of, are you a divine child? Are you someone who has this unique destiny? Are you destined to be someone? Or are you just a uh, amalgamation of all of these different emotions and opportunities and opinions and needs? Like, what is it? Like, what, what, what side do I really play out to? Like, is there something really special inside of me that makes me special and unique that i need to be able to show to the world or um or am i simply just playing out a one-dimensional role these questions these are the things for a son in leo to be able to create you define whether you are that divine divine child or not the energies are always there is for you to be able to utilize this um wherever wherever it needs to you know, you could you could literally have these energies and carry it throughout your life and never utilize them in your life. So it becomes dormant. It becomes non um, non-existent. It becomes not relevant. So one of the major parts of a Leo Sun's journey is to learn how to be able to have the courage to follow your passions and to develop the skills that you need to develop those passions and to support those passions and to be great at it. You know, as long as you work towards what it is that you want to be doing, whether it is to be an artist, whether it's to be a public speaker, an inspirational speaker, you know, these are all very um, typical characteristics of a Leo son as well as more. I'll probably list some more in the um, description at the same time. But it's for you to be able to use your passion to create paths and opportunities for you to actually be that person, to be that one, to be um to to shine to be in the spotlight to be able to express who you are you know express bring soul bring bring that connection back again you know so i'm hoping that this brings a bit of clarity to the leo sun energy comment below if this helps you comment below if this resonates with you remember to like the video remember to share the video and remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed so until next time i will see you guys on the other side